Welcome to Pod Travel Plan Series Stories from the Road, a project that came about because the journey in our travels sometimes exposes us to some of the most memorable experiences we'll ever have. We know that the destination is our goal, but places are often colored by the people we meet and memories of great trips can linger long after when friends are made on that journey. I'd like you to meet Dave Fleming, a custom guitar builder whose creations have been on stages around the world and have even been seen on TV. When you speak to a musician about their instrument, you'll often find they have a special bond that goes beyond that of many artists. So when I had the opportunity to interview Dave in his workshop, I jumped at the chance to delve into this fascinating world that takes the tangibles of wood and tools to create something that in the hands of an artist becomes the intangible mystery of music. Come along as I delve into Dave's world and dig out some of the secrets behind the passion of this artist who composes with wood and glue like some artists compose with words and music. I know a man He works in wood Builds guitars And he builds them good He takes his time Does it right That's the only way Dave first started building guitars as a teen, and though the road wasn't without some bumps and diversions, Dave believes that it was hard work and perseverance that made the dream come to life. He described to me how the first guitar that he built from a kit was the match to the flame that so obviously burns in him now. As I toured around his workshop, we talked about the different types of woods he uses in the construction of a guitar, and how the choice of wood can greatly affect the character of the sounds played. For example, spruce, the most common wood used on the front of the body of a guitar, produces a clear, well-sustained note throughout the musical range, while mahogany, which is Dave's personal favorite, creates a rich, accentuated mid-range. The variations and intricacies of wood were mind-boggling and a complete language in itself. From Macassar to Koa to Indian Rosewood to the family of spruces, Sitka, Adirondack, and Red Spruce, and one of the most expensive, old-growth, pre-war Brazilian Rosewood, which Dave revealed could cost over $1,000, and that's not including the front piece of the guitar. Now, I learned about book matching, where the back and sides of the guitar are cut from wood which is sliced something like deli meat and then opened like a book to create a symmetrical pattern from one piece. Dave went on to show me the progressive steps from bending the side bands to the shape of the body through the various steps of bracing. He also showed me the fretboards which he likes to make out of ebony wood and then discussed the different styles of fret inlays. And there was a moment While marveling at the master's knowledge, the question was asked, how do you keep track of the different types of woods and where they're used? Dave laughingly replied that he knew his woods like he knew his children. Dave's love of music was apparent, and every now and then, Dave would go over and put on a song and talk about the musicians who played his guitars and emphasize a point about the type of sounds a particular style of guitar they were playing would make. This love of music is woven throughout Dave's passion for building guitars, and he confided to me that Leo Kotke, a famous jazz guitarist, was his original inspiration to pick up the guitar. We talked of the innovators in his field like Thomas Humphrey, who had taken the classic guitar design and tweaked it to make it easier for guitarists to reach the higher notes without having to cut out the body like some designs do and thus degrade the trebles more quickly. Dave had written Mr. Humphrey shortly before he died and asked if he could work with his design. In fact, most of Dave's guitars are modeled after some well-known design or another, but like a master chef adding ingredients to improve on a tried-and-true recipe, Dave blends his expert knowledge of woods to match instrument tonality with the vocal characteristics of an artist. He even told me of a cello design which he had built modeled after 1926 Gibson L5. This guitar, from what I gathered, was slightly domed on both the front and back, 
a feature which Dave described as challenging for the independent custom guitar maker. But he went on to show us his alternative innovation to the expensive CNC machines that are used in the big factories. But I was sworn to secrecy as to its form. He then went on to tell us a sad story about how he had built and shipped this guitar. It was damaged in transit. When he's done that guitar strings it up throws it in the car heads downtown hangs it on the wall and all those guitar picking fools just have a ball Our time with Dave was coming to an end as his family arrived And though his love for the art of his craft was visible in every expression I'd seen and heard, I perceived an even greater love as his wife and children came into the shop. As we wound up our time with introductions to family and final questions, Dave treated us to the highlight of our time by pulling out that double dome guitar, as I called it, and he clarified as a cello design. And with visible pride, let us take some great pictures of both the artist and his masterpiece. We left the Flamangs behind to continue on our journey, listening to a song to hold on to the magic of our time with Dave. And if you listen closely, I think you might hear some of that same magic now as Dave strums Leo Kotke's song, First to Go, on one of his own creations. you've enjoyed this episode of stories from the road visit us at podtravelplan.com where you can check out our other podcasts with destinations from san francisco to seattle sedona to manhattan you'll not only find amazing destination information but you'll also find valuable travel tips and tools you'll be able to chime in on our travel forums and of course you can always subscribe to us on facebook youtube and twitter so until next time Happy travels from Pod Travel Plan.